is my list for today. Hopefully I can actually get it all done. It is 9.57. I already started the laundry, so I can mark that off. So I always start a load of laundry in the morning. I want to dust under the kitchen cabinets. There's all kinds of like spider webs. Clean out my utensil drawer. Wash all of the kitchen and cabinets and drawers, like the fronts of them. Clean out the top of the refrigerator. Pull out the refrigerator and the stove and clean behind it. Dust the light fixture over the sink and the table. Wash the table chairs and the island chairs. Vacuum the kitchen rug. Vacuum the kitchen floor and the tops of baseboards. Wash the baseboards and mop the kitchen. If time allows, I really want to work on my junk drawer. I may not get around to that today, but I will at some point. I want to do it today if I can. Then I want to move to the living room. I have to fold the laundry that I just put in the dryer and put it away. Clean the living room fan, the wall hangings, and the curtain rod, which gets pretty dusty. Um, I have some paint, some old tape residue stuck on our ceiling from a party decoration. I need to try to get that off. Vacuum and remove the stain from the couch and the ottoman and dust and vacuum the living room. So I had actually already started the laundry, but this is just some footage of me getting a load started before I did anything else just to make the best use of my time. And then I went to the kitchen to start wiping down the counters. I just used this bowl. It's actually a cleaning bowl. Don't worry, we don't eat out of it. But I use it to carry around the house to wash baseboards and things like that. So I just put some warm water, put on some music on my phone, of course. And then got all the spider webs and yucky stuff out from under the cabinets. It's kind of funny going back and watching this now that I'm like scampering around the kitchen like Rafiki. But you know, when you're down there on the floor, I don't want to keep getting up and down. So whatever works, right? So mark that off. And now I'm gonna work on my utensil drawer. No matter how many times you clean it, there's always crumbs in there. So just kind of shifting some things. I got rid of that little um, utensil that I had in there because I never use it. And then just kind of sorted through some of the little medicine cups. And then I went through and wiped out the crumbs from all the little compartments. Just using my vinegar and water spray that I use a lot in my kitchen on the countertops, just so it would be safe to put the utensils back inside. is just wiping down the fronts of the cabinets and the tops and the drawers with all the dust and grease and fingerprints that get all over them.
makes a little cameo appearance. There she is. The reason why I feel like I can fly. Think about your day and night. I love it when you kiss me. Love it when we touch. Every time I'm down here, you make Now I'm going to put the vases back up. I've gotten some flowers and some things. So I'm putting them back where they belong. And then I'm going to clean off those two little cabinet fronts up there and the top of the refrigerator. Now it's time to actually pull the refrigerator out. I admit I have not done this in a while. I used to be really good about it, but it's just been so busy lately that I hadn't done it in a while, so it was pretty gross back there. So first I'm gonna vacuum it and get as much of the dust and spider webs up as I can because I didn't wanna get back there with all that stuff. So I vacuumed it first and then I got back there and really wiped down the insides of the cabinets, the wall, the back of the refrigerator. I washed the baseboard and mopped the floor before I put the refrigerator back. I just wanna hold you. I just wanna look into your eyes and tell you that I want you. You know you make me feel so alive. Can't stop thinking about your day and night. Love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch. Every time I'm down here, you make me smile. You're the solution. pushed it back in and then used my method glass and surface cleaner to wipe down the front and the handles of the refrigerator. You are the reason, the reason why I feel like I can fly. Think about your day and night, I love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch. Every time I'm down here, you make me smile, you're the solution. So now it's time to pull out the stove and do pretty much the same thing. Vacuuming it before I step back there just to make sure there's no bugs or anything that is alive. And then I got back there and wiped the walls, the sides of the cabinets, and then I mopped it as well.
back and then use the same glass and surface cleaner to wipe the front. Now it's time to dust the light fixture over the sink. If this were like a super duper deep clean, I would take the globe off and hand wash it and everything, but this is really just kind of an in-between a deep clean and a regular clean. The same thing for the light over the table. If it was a deep clean, I would take all the globes off and everything, but this is just kind of a more thorough clean than maybe a weekly cleaning, but not a super duper deep clean. Now it's time to switch that load of laundry that I started in the morning. So I'm just gonna put that in the dryer and then go back to the kitchen to clean the chairs and the kitchen table. give a little bit of attention to the island chairs. I actually use tape, I talked about this before, to help get the pet hair and dust off of the little felt pads on the feet. It's much easier to use packing tape than it is to try to vacuum it or pick it off with your fingers, so I always use tape to get that hair and stuff off of those felt pads. Then I'm just gonna wipe them down really well with a Clorox wipe as well. Wanna shake the ground, wanna break away, let loose. I'm tired of waiting. Gotta make that move All the neon signs Now they shout to me and you To write a story Wanna shape the new To vacuum the kitchen before I do anything else I'm gonna vacuum it really good and then I'm gonna use the fuzzy attachment to vacuum all of the baseboards so that when I go to wash them there's less dust on them
I happened to notice that the walls could you could use some extra attention so even though that wasn't on my list I went ahead and washed some of the walls where there were some spots that needed to be cleaned taking that same cloth with the warm water and uh, Lysol and wiping the baseboards to get off fingerprints and dog drool and little spots of whoever knows what else gets on the baseboards just to wipe those off and make them really clean. Again and again. Can't stay, stay in this dead relation, cause it's fading gray. to mop the kitchen. I decided I didn't have time this day to go ahead and do my junk drawer, so that'll be something that I end up tackling on a different day. kitchen is mopped everything looks really nice and clean it makes me feel so good to look at it now that it's all done and I've done a little bit more of a deeper clean than I do every week it feels really really good now the laundry has dried I'm gonna go ahead and get it out and fold it before I do anything else so as usual when I'm doing laundry or something else I'm watching YouTube while I fold the laundry and then I'm gonna put it away where it belongs that same Swiffer duster and dust off the curtain rod and the wall hanging over there and then I'm going to dust the fan really good. Again if it was a deep cleaning I would have some soapy water and I would go ahead and wash each individual blade that way 
but this is really not a, a really deep, deep clean. So just gonna dust them off with that Swiffer duster. Now it's time to vacuum the couch. I will admit, we eat in the living room every single day, so it does get crumbs, and we have a very hairy dog, and he does get on the couch, so we have a lot of hair. So this is something I really try to do at least once a month. As you can see, there was quite a bit of stuff under that cushion. I had not done this since before we went on vacation in May because I've gotten behind just trying to get stuff ready for our homeschool year. So it was very long overdue. This feeling, it's part of the now I'm going to show you how to clean a microfiber couch. I've talked about this before and you can use Windex, but I don't use Windex. I use the Method multi-surface and glass cleaner, but it works just as well. And basically I just spray down the cushions that have stains with it. And I'm actually using a vegetable brush from the Dollar Tree to kind of work that glass cleaner into the cushion. And it looks really scary and terrible when it's wet. It takes a little bit to dry, but I promise it works like a charm to get stains out of a microfiber couch. So now I'm just gonna vacuum kind of the entry section and then I'm gonna mop it. on to dusting our TV cabinet. I really love to use the Method wood cleaner. It smells so good and it works really well. So I like using that. dust my ladder shelf as well and give everything a really good final vacuum As you can see the couch clean up really nicely so I highly recommend using Windex or glass cleaner on a microfiber couch. Now the living room is nice and clean too. It just makes you feel so good after cleaning and working so hard to have two rooms that are really clean and fresh and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did make sure you give it a thumbs up so I can do more cleaning videos for you all and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you want to see two of my older videos, you can click the links right here. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already, and you definitely should, you can click right here. I upload every single week. I have some links in the description box for some of my favorite stores and products, as well as my PO box address. Check out those links if you're interested in those. And I will see you guys in the next video.